Well, hello guys. Welcome back to Little King Gaming. We thought we'd do a throwback for you. We haven't rode this one in a while ourselves, so we're going to ride Ghost Mountain Roller Coaster. We have done this before, but we thought maybe some new viewers would enjoy this. So here we go. Okay, long time people, do you remember this? Um... You can skip the entrance and go right to the right, but we're going to do everything. Pushing forward on my controllers. This is so trippy. It's made by the same people that do a large quantity of mushrooms. So... <laughs> um... <laughs> I suppose this is meant to be amplified, but legally I didn't just say that. So there we go, go my ride to Ghost Mountain. It, it definitely looks like it's made to be enhanced with whatever legal substance you may have on hand. Look, he's like, that's a good way to say it, not get sued. So here we go. I kind of like the... Um... Graphics. And no, I don't know why that dot's there other than everything is dot operated. You can hear the inception drums in the diff distance. See some track from here? This is really cool. It's one of the best. That's always good when those drums start. This is one of the best coasters I've been on because look how immersive this is. And I'm sitting down. If I were to stand up, you could see, you could see over everything. So happy first day of summer to you guys. I hope you're having a good one. We're just going to take our time. And this is beautiful. It's a pity we don't have more full experience coasters and stuff like this. I can't think of another one. I've seen some included in parks that try. But I've never seen one that goes to this length. Now this has not been um, updated and I have not seen anything more from the workshop that did it so I don't know if they're even still making games but this still held up. Just cool little details like that. And strangely enough I've been um, benching on Defunct Land and that's like 90% old Disney rides. So it was kind of eye-opening because I've never been to Disney. I know, I'm so so deprived. So I can see where a lot of these rides get some of their ideas. But to do this in VR is very cool. And again, like I said, all the theming here is just, is really cool. It's kind of neat because you, you're going through this long queue and you know this should be like packed with people. But it's only you. And you can look down and... This is neat. <laughs> As Loki would say, I can hear the unsubs now, but this to me is cool. I don't care if it's not cutting edge graphics. It's the art style, I find it very enjoyable. And you can see the coaster from here, which is cool. I think this coaster would probably kill you in real life. I'm almost certain it would, but... Uh, maybe they borrowed some Imagineering people. And if you're going to chicken out, now will be the time to do it. You could totally go back through. And it would be the last time to pray, like if you wanted to. Pray. So you got your choice of where you sit. It does change the kind of ride you have. Um, let's sit front left. Okay. Do be aware that there are flashing lights. But there's not any violence, so I'd say it's an all ages ride. So what are you guys doing? You can see we're going right back through the entrance. 
You hear those inception drones? Oh, and I have not played a large quantity of mushrooms for you guys because there are certain tones that game hits that I think you would need mushrooms to endure. <laughs> Obviously very trippy and it's the most beautiful day in ever outside and I thought this would be a perfect way Woo! to celebrate summer. This is very trippy. I am tripping and I didn't take anything. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I really wish I could drag all of you into VR. I appreciate seeing 2D is not the same as seeing the 3D. Do prepare for a mild jump scare. Because I care about you and I don't need anybody having heart attacks. And that still gets me, even though I know it's coming. Ah, whee, this is fun. This is one of the nice things about VR, guys. Uh, if I want to go to a park, I can. I mean, you can do that just on YouTube. This is fun too. Whichever. There's just so much to see. I think this has to be my favorite part. This is so pretty.
our friends the hands are back. This is just so pretty, guys. It's it's one of the more imaginative posters I've seen. I've had you guys on a lot. Um, be glad we decided to restrict ourselves. We were going to make a pack for you guys about 12 coasters, and then we agreed maybe that would be too much. But it just seemed like a great activity to do on such a beautiful day. So we hope you guys have enjoyed the throwback experience. Jump scare. I know they're really mild, but I know sometimes it doesn't take much, so I try to warn you guys. I know personally I'm done playing anything where the main purpose is stuff jumping in my face, but that's me. I'm just, I'm so burnt out on that kind of stuff. But this is fun. It's so fun because it looks like um, it was almost maybe meant to have like multiple paths. I don't know. This may be what they intended. But yes, in that game, you have to go around collecting mushrooms. <laughs> and I, I put in a respectful complaint. I said, I'm not sure if you actually had the VR headset on, but I said some of the tones and some of the colors. You need to tone that down because you're going to kill people. This, this ride, on the other hand, is very well polished. Here we go, the ET portion. We're up and away. See the tracker joining us? Whee! I heard giggle back here.
Ooh. And here we go. Don't want to ride again. Let's exit the cart. Whew. And our cart goes forward for the next riders. I think if you looked over, if you changed your mind, looked over, you could go again, but I realize you guys might not want to ride it 30 times. So there you go. And it has this part of the attraction too. And yeah, you could just exit. Could just exit the game, but I like this. And you got the maps of the coaster. And you've got this. Like that. I'm guessing this was concept art as they were working on it. And this tells you you can exit there, but you can go look at the very trippy art. And you can go the whole way to here. And look at the art. So to me, I liked it. And I bought it, I think, way back when it was full price, because I've had it for a while. But I've really gotten my enjoyment, my money's worth out of it. Where I've had some titles, guys, that I paid a small fortune for, at least to me. And I think I played them once. <laughs> and I never played them again. But this one has been one of my favorites. So we really do hope you guys have enjoyed this. If there would be anything else you would want to see again, you would just have to let us know. You can put the speed on, I believe, by yep, holding the trigger down. If you wanted to speed through here, you could put that trigger down. And you start to go kind of fast. But the views are worth it too. helps if I push forward. And you can look up and just... it's cool. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened to the designer either. I don't know if they're working on the new game or what. It, it's been a while. It's been a while, I think, since I brought anything out. I think because they went in this direction. They went in a more mature direction. Not an adult theme, but, well... I guess mushrooms are an adult theme. But, um, they went in this direction. That it became perhaps less popular than it could have been. Because all their games were, you know, this, a large quantity of mushrooms. Dead bird, bird. And you can't fall off, by the way, I've tried. I've tried, I've tried jumping down to see if I could explore the desert. You know, this makes us old people miss things like cheat codes. Now you have hacking, but back then you had cheat codes. And if you knew what you were doing, you could just do just about anything in a game. Sometimes. But we hope you enjoyed that. We thought we would bring you back in. It's not a bad ride, and we know that everybody can't go back and look at every VR experience. And even though we know our viewer viewers are in the minority, we still appreciate you. So if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.